that a country which is infamous across the globe for state-sponsored terrorism and transnational crimes cast aspersions on the world's largest democracy. It's a fact that Fourth Committee have limited expectations from Pakistan and their ability to contribute towards working of the committee. Unsubstantiated allegations by Pakistan largely pertain to the Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. India would like to reiterate that Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh are, were and will be an integral and inalienable part of India. India symbolizes pluralism, diversity and democracy. Pakistan reminds the world of terrorism, parochialism and persecution. Facts speak for themselves. Lies are lies, even if they are repeated over and over by Pakistan. Madam Chair, I am compelled to take the floor to exercise India's right of reply since Pakistan continues to abuse this August forum by peddling falsehoods and baseless accusations. Given Pakistan's past conduct, this is, however, not surprising. It is ironic that a country which is infamous across the globe for state-sponsored terrorism and transnational crimes cast aspersions on the world's largest democracy. It has been Pakistan's consistent state policy to employ cross-border terrorism as a weapon against its neighbors. The list of attacks orchestrated by Pakistan is indeed long. In India, they have targeted our parliament, marketplaces, and pilgrimage, pilgrimage routes, among several others. Normal Indian citizens have been victims of such dastardly and inhumane acts by Pakistan. Madam Chair, it's a fact that Fourth Committee have limited expectations from Pakistan and their ability to contribute towards working of the committee because of their nefarious designs and decades of established practice of harboring and aiding terrorism and terrorists. Global terrorists are hailed as martyrs. Pakistan's statement today lends credence to such limited expectations. Unsubstantiated allegations by Pakistan largely pertain to the Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. India would like to reiterate that Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh are, were and will be an integral and inalienable part of India. Clearly, Pakistan does not merit a response on internal affairs of India. At this juncture, we also advise Pakistan to stop the grave and ongoing human rights violations in Pakistan-occupied Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh. The world is witness to the divisive activities that Pakistan tries to undertake day in and day out. India would like to stress that our foundations are built on the enduring pillar of democratic values, unlike Pakistan's. Given their tainted democratic record, Pakistan considers real democratic exercises as sham, as reflected in their statement. All countries speak from their experience. Sham elections, incarceration of opposition leaders, and suppression of political voices are what Pakistan is familiar with. It is natural that Pakistan must be disappointed to see real democracy at work. It was only last week that election results were announced in Jammu and Kashmir. Millions of voters in the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir have spoken. They exercised their right to vote and have chosen their leadership according to the constitutional framework and you know, universal adult suffrage. Clearly, these terms must be alien to Pakistan. Madam Chair, India symbolizes pluralism, diversity, and democracy. In contrast, Pakistan reminds the world of terrorism, parochialism, and persecution. Religious and ethnic minorities and their places of worship are targeted 
and vandalized on a regular basis. It is important for Pakistan to first look inwards and set own house in order instead of meddling in the internal affairs of neighboring countries. Pakistan's obsession with India and their past practice corroborate that they will continue to use this August forum for spreading their malicious propaganda against my country. They will exercise their right of reply, but I shall refrain from responding to it out of respect for the chair and other members of the committee. As such, facts speak for themselves. Lies are lies, even if they are repeated over and over by Pakistan.